Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another machining video. In today's video, I want to start the process of attaching the handrail to the actual bed of the saw sled. Now, I decided to go with machine screws for this uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, uh, they're going to allow me to be able to take this apart. I am going to add, uh, in the future, I'm going to probably add uh, all drilled holes so I can add clamps and other ways of holding work down. And I just wanted it to be something that I can just easily take apart, uh, do the, what I need to do to it, and then put it back together. Now the reason why I've gone with the machine screws instead of hex bolts is I want this to recess up inside the bottom part, the bottom slit part. I don't want it to hang out too much because it would just interfere with the actual, uh, you know, the saw, the saw bit itself, the actual part of this table saw. So what I've done is I machined these to one hundredth of an inch less than half an inch, which is just a common drill bit size that I have, and then the whole thickness of it, the th unthreaded part and the thickness of the head is a half inch and that is uh, the thickness of the bottom plate. So these are all pretty much set. I've uh, chamfered everything and they're ready to go. Now I just have to have a method of being able to screw them in. So I decided to go with just a slot because it's, well, it's the easiest thing to do. If I had bought these I could have got like, uh, like a hex head bolts or whatever but this is, uh, this is what I can do. So what I'm going to do is use the uh, clamp I had made, uh, this is it here, one of them anyway, and a test piece. This is the test piece I had originally uh, tested threading out brass with, and it just happened to be everything perfect for what I need. One thing I didn't do right though is I just clamped that down by hand, and the problem with that is when I put the mill end on it, it just screwed it right out of the hole. So I put a locking nut on here instead and tight that down really tight. And now it's obviously more than secure enough to do this with. And then it was a simple matter of using the finest end mill I had, which is one eighth of an inch. And then I just ran that across it and you have a slot now. So that's the, set, the, the machine screws all set and ready to go. Now I made them an inch and a half long. And one of the things I didn't anticipate when I was doing this is while well, the tap I have is it's long enough but it doesn't quite go all the way in like when you tap something the initial bit it doesn't take it all right to the full diameter right away so the end bit was just a little too tight so I ended up having to cut these down a bit but that was what the only real hiccup I had in putting this together the other nuisance was getting the actual uh, the saw sled bed and the handrail attached to my milling machine, clamped into place, and set up so that it's all square, perpendicular, and set up in the right position. So here I have it, uh, it's quarter of an inch in, so there's a quarter of an inch overhang there, because I want a little bit of extra meat on this side there, because, well, the half inch bolts, it would be, it would be a, a very thin wall if I hadn't done that. And it's no big deal otherwise. So these are going to fit in through it and go straight down through there. Now I don't have all the proper machine clamps, but I do have the ones I made. I do have this corner clamp I use for when I'm working with wood. And then I use pretty much all the parallels I have in the shop. Uh, they're just there to make sure it's six inches, or sorry, four inches and nice and straight. And then I did a little test drill and we're pretty much ready to just drill through. So what I'm going to do, like, because this is all clamped down, I'm going to drill, this is uh, not quarter inch drill bit, this is the threading size. So I'm going to run this through until it scores with the bottom plate that goes through the handrail right here. And then I just remove that off, finish drilling this out, and then I'm going to tap that, and then uh, we're all set. I mean, that's pretty much all I need to do for that. And here I'll show you how I cut down one of the, of the machine screws so that it fits in snugly. And the other thing I, do, I did off camera is I ran a drill bit through just the first little bit of that hole just to make sure I want to get it nice and snug. I didn't want the threads to interfere with it. So I'm going to ream this out here now. This is the going from the, the, sorry, the drill bit size for threading. Now I'm just moving it up so the bolt actually fits through. 
And then I'm going to increment that up more and uh, ream that out until uh, the machine screw will actually fit in nice and snugly. So now, next step is I've using the machine screw actually to hold it in place. And then the rest of the clamps are all there as well. And then it's just a simple matter of, well, just drilling out and rinse and repeat. So here are the first two are done. Now I wanted to try this out, so I just put two on for now. Actually, at this point here, there's only one uh, bolt head holding it because I wanted to see how smoothly it ran. And I actually really like that because it's it's actually really smooth. And that's really cool. I really like that part. So the next uh, bit of footage you're going to have here is the second uh, with the second uh, machine screw in place and it doesn't alter anything of course uh, the hard part is going to be lining up uh, this saw uh, this bed with the second one and making sure those holes are machined <laughs> i actually am not entirely sure how much of the tolerance i'm going to have for that but it's going to be really really small because it's going to need to be very very tight uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I should say it's going to have to be very precise. So here you go. This is uh, all done. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just going to flip this back and forth because uh, I don't know. And then we're going to do here. I want to do a little test cut just to make sure everything uh, misses the blade and everything. So I'm just going to put on a little piece of plastic, and I can't cut all the way through yet because I haven't put the slot in the handrail part. But we're going to just fire it up. I'll give it a show here and see what it looks like as uh, uh, I was kind of anxious to see how that all went and then uh, that's pretty much it for this video and next week I'm going to attach the other side put in the slot for the handrail and then uh, other things will come as I need them but I wanted it up and functional so here you go this is the first test cut and as you can see it just cuts really easily you don't have to have your hands anywhere near which is the kind of thing i really like about this and once i build all the clamps for that it is also going to be uh really uh that's a very handy tool to have in the shop so thank you very much for watching i hope you like the style of video if you do please like and or subscribe that would be greatly appreciated and on friday i have an interesting video for yeah, those of you that like watching uh, the fish parts of this and then as far as the rest of the saw sled goes i am going to uh, obviously do the things i talked about but uh, life can get busy from time to time i'm going to try and have that ready for uh, next wednesday uh, but it will come up uh, hopefully really soon so thanks again for watching i will see you in the next video and bye for now